Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, I'm Queen Poetry. Simple names of the face. Where, where are you from? Um, I'm from Southside Jamaica, Queens. Uh, but I was raised all over New York, so a little bit from everywhere in New York. What got you into poetry? Mm. I was the kid who was odd. My family was all like tight knit and real close, and they all liked the same things, and I was the different kid who stayed in the books and like I found joy in going to school like I was the only one so after a while it was just like being that I was being that I was the oddball out of the family I really had no one I could really talk to so in return I went to poetry to lose my feelings and I started writing at seven and from that day forward I've been writing. Were you comfortable with presenting your poetry to others or did you keep it to yourself? Oh, every time I finished a poem, I was like, hey, listen to this, you guys. And my family would all sit on the couch <laughs> and I would recite it to them. They'd be like, like the first poem I ever um, recited to them, they were just like in awe. And I'm not even gonna lie, <laughs> call me crazy, but by 11, I was <laughs> so advanced in poetry. I was able to write erotic poetry. So I was writing like all kinds of poetry and it's to the point where once I turned 11 and I started realizing that I could do just about anything with poetry, I started writing music and I started rapping at 11. <laughs> so poetry just basically started everything. It started everything for me because poetry led to a lot of, a lot of things. I, like, I went to a lot of different artistic things, but poetry is what made me feel confident in exploring all of that. With today's music not being as lyrical as before do um, you still find poetry in today's music? Certain artists. It's like certain artists they know how to still bring that lyrical content and it's like I literally only listen to certain artists like Wale it sounds like he's just spitting poetry the whole time he's rapping but he's like, like the mainstream, mainstream, no. They, the mumble, I, I can't, I don't even understand half the time what they talk about in the songs. And when they start talking, my first thing, I, what language is he speaking? Oh, this is, you know, a regular hip hop song. I don't, I'm not the type of person who can really vibe with the new music. So I only listen to the artists that have the lyrical content. I'm, I'm 30, I was born in 1990, so I grew up in the 90s where we had LL Cool J and Kumo D and, and, and uh, you know, just all the, all the people who set the platform for us. I had all the real good artists. And then came the new era, and that's kind of why I started doing music, because my daughters, they, I have kids, and they sing this music, and I'm like, you can't say that. What? What? You on lean? What is lean? It's to the point where I have to ask my seven-year-old daughter, like, what is what is lean? And she actually knows because these are things that they are presenting to our children. Because these are songs that we are presenting to our our families and our kids. Because you know that's just what we grew up on. We play music no matter what it is. And I'm like, I can't have my kids listen to this. I can't. Because for one, even my kids can't understand what they're saying. So they're mumbling the entire time. It's just like a waste of a waste of music. So, I'm like, I only have them listen to me, like you, the artists that I grew up with. Like, I grew up listening to Jay-Z and, and Beyonce and Lauren Hill and Erica Badu. I love Erica Badu. My kids know all of their music because that is the only music I listen to. So, if it comes to any new music, I will honestly tell you, I don't know. You can ask any of my friends when they put new songs on, they're like, yeah, this is my favorite song. And I'm like, I've never heard it. Like, if, if we were to say two artists came together and made you, like, who would your dad be and who would your mom be? I already know that. My mom would be Erica Badu. Uh -huh. Definitely. Because that is, she, she is my mantra. Erica Badu, I, that's me. And my dad would probably still be a female artist. Now you got... <laughs> They gonna have to make a love, okay. a, a lesbian you know love what? baby. Oh, even better. Okay. A lesbian love baby. Um, it's gonna have to be between. See, no, it, it, okay, maybe I have three parents, cause that is right. It's 
Erica Badu, Lauren Hill, and Andre 3000 had an orgy. They had an orgy me. in May. That's, that's dope. Because I dress yeah. eclectic as ever. Um, I have a style of my own. People will tell me all the time, like, I would never think to wear that ever. Like, when they say it as in like an insult, like, I would never think to wear that, but you make it look good. And it's because I really, like, admire they, like they're everything. They're, the way they dress, the way they the music comes out, the way they are even off camera. Like I used to sit and watch videos of everybody like she's just so amazing. <laughs> and now it's just like if I had to be the love child of anybody, it would have to be her, Andre 2000 and Lauren because those are my three favorite. What in your music is a gift to that you're giving to everybody else? Like what? At the core of your music, that you want everybody to to have and to share. The core of all of my music, and a lot of people notice this when they hear my music, and everyone will start to realize it is truth. <laughs> Regardless of all of the things that you know, we grow up, and when you go through bad things, people make you feel bad for them, and even when you're the victim, people make you feel bad for them, and it's like. I'm tired of everyone, for one, wanting to sweep everything under the rug in our community and never wanting to talk about anything. And now I've endured things, but I can't talk about it because what happens in this house stays in this house. And I'm tired of the fact that we can't be completely and entirely open and honest without someone judging because we don't agree on, or, we, or we're not on the same you know, level. Nobody has the same path. Everybody has their own path, so nobody should be telling nobody else how to live their life because nobody has the same path. So what may work for you will not work for another. You can't expect any one person, not even your children, not your family, you have to let people be themselves. So my music is all about being truthful, not just to yourself, but being truthful to others. Be, be, be real, be true, tell how it is. Like, if you hear my song Pain, my, my song Pain is about being molested, being raped, being... Uh, uh, left to take care of a child and becoming a single mother. It's like all of the pain that I went through. It's called pain for a reason. It's all of the pain that I went through while growing up. But it's also a song to let people know that even though I've endured all this pain, look at me now. I've conquered a lot. I've overcame a lot. And I'm doing amazing for myself. For someone who's dealt with the trauma that I've dealt with, I'm doing great. And so can you if you get up off your ass and stop soaking on it. Don't hold it in. Stop worrying about everyone else's feelings because nobody's worrying about yours. Focus on doing what's best for you. And if you have children, what's best for them. Focus on those who focus on you. And like, pain is literally like my mantra. Like, yeah, we've been through some shit, but we can overcome this. And that's what I want, my, I want people to hear when they hear my music. It's like, yeah, there's some crazy shit that I'm talking about. It's always some crazy shit I'm talking about. Music. But I overcame it, and I'm doing good. Like I'm, I'm good. So what's the problem? I'm like, for one, it's a, it's, a, it's a therapeutic outlet for me to get what I've been through out and not feel, you know, like I have to hold it on. So no, nope, I'm gonna put it in a song. Don't do nothing bad to me because it might end up in a song. That's that's the kind of person I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you don't want to get on my bad side. Um, but I'm like. The whole, my, my, my whole entire reason for doing music is just for people to stay true to themselves and always be honest. It's going to be painful. People's feelings are going to be hurt. Be honest. And that's just that. I'm like, I don't, I, I'm gonna have to give y'all a little extra after. Because I'm like, I got, I, I have three songs that I was gonna do, but I'm like, they're all kind of long. Because I'm old school, so we do like more, if we don't do, do like a verse or two, and you know, of course, and then, it's not like a two minute song, but my songs is like four or five minutes. <laughs> because, but, but, you'll listen to the end. You'll, you'll listen, trust me, you'll listen to the end, because from the beginning, you're like, Okay, whoa, and it just keeps elevating and elevating and elevating and then it's like, it is peak and you're like, it's over? Yeah, it's over. 
It's over. Nope, there's no more. Listen to another song. Trust well, me, it's just as good. That's how you keep going, them, you know, yeah, that's how you keep wanting more. You gotta keep it one more. It's, it's not even. I'm, I'm not doing this for fame. I'm not doing this for anything. I will honestly be the honest one and say I am doing it for money. I have four children and um, I have a husband and a household. I I have things to do. So you know, money does make the world go round. So yes, I am doing this for money, and I do expect that it comes to come to this. But I do this more so to enlighten people. To, to give knowledge, to inspire, so that people will understand that normal people like me, a stay-at-home mom, can do great things if you just believe in yourself and get up and do it. Like, my, like people, I, I know people who take to my music naturally and organically because of the message in my music. It's like you can't not listen to my music and be like, oh, okay, that was okay. Like every song is like, damn. You tell a story in every, I'm a storyteller, so I, I tell a story in every song. So, it keeps them wanting more. That's what drives me to want to keep making more. I'm like, well, if you want more, okay. I'm a mom, so we kind of like, we just give. Like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll get more. But I'm like, I really just do this to help, because that's, that's just who I am. I ain't my, I've always been the type of person to help people and I've spent my entire life helping people, I'm not going to hold you. And I'm like, I'm at the point where I want to help people but I want it to benefit me too. I have a few singles out from my album, The Making of a Goddess. It's coming soon. I can't give you the big phone advice. Um, <laughs> but um, I have a few singles out. My first um, single, Show You, is out on all platforms. Uh, Sit is show you pain warrior and also I have a song that I featured on with my husband and my manager Don Rico Styles is called No Love is my favorite song but I also have that it's out on all platforms all my music is out on all platforms and you can also find my poetry and everything on my YouTube it's uh, I am Queen Poetry so you can either find me on anything as Queen Poetry and on YouTube as I am Queen Poetry. Uh, my name is Queen Savvy, I'm from Hockey Side. My label is Savvy and T. I represent words of respect for females, women power. Um, yeah, we get money, all that. Just be stay in tune. <laughs> You have any artists that inspire you? Ciara. Um, that's about it. Why Ciara? I love Ciara. Like, I just, as a little girl, I love her. I love her. Like, I just love her music. The way she dances. Do so. you dance at all? Yes, she does. <laughs> like, hey, very sexy, too. I can, I can get sexy. But like most of the time I'm shy. Like if I'm not comfortable, like it's just in my head. I gotta be comfortable. How old are you? I'm 20. What, what drives you outside of Sierra or like when you when you find yourself and you're writing these lyrics and nobody else is around? What what, what motivates you? I'm only doing this for her, I'm trying to make it for her. Like, everything, everything is to make sure she's set. So, like, that's what this is about. But as the, as the, as the, as the road, as I have to the road, yes, like, my feelings is about whatever goes on in my life, I talk about what goes on in my friend's life, I can feel the pain and I put it in my song. Because I know we're working with me.
I'm the only friend. You know what I'm saying? And loyalty is really with me. That's savvy and too. And my loyalty is with them too. If I say anything, I'm riding for them. Just how they riding for me. And you can't talk bad about my bitches around me because I'm coming crazy. Okay. <laughs> so they ride for you and you ride for them. Right. Yeah. What's, 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 your, what's your favorite song to perform when you want to ask that? Honestly, I didn't perform it today, but it's why me. It's like, why me? You won't find another like me. It's some other shit. Like, it's so Whitney shit. Yeah. You know, it's a Whitney shit for real. Like, my other favorite artist is Aaliyah. I love that girl. That's, That's why you can't remember the style of Aaliyah. <laughs> I can't wait the little scarf and everything in her head. Like, I think you kind of young to understand Aaliyah like that. Yeah. I mean, I'm a 90s baby. I was born in 1999. Uh huh. Very much a I know. That you know your music, Yes. Like, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very different with this music shit too. Like, I can get gangsta, I can get sexy, I can get godly. Like, I see you sing yeah. and you rap. Like, how do you, how do you, are you a rapper or are you a singer? I'm a rock star. I'm a rock star. Yes, I'm a fucking rock star! <laughs> I'm a rock star. Like, I'm not even lying to you. Like, my life is like a movie for real. Like a movie. Like every day. Every fucking day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> uh, being a young brother, what's your biggest challenge? Make sure I don't fail as a person. Period. 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 Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. What did you do? Make sure I don't fall as a person. Make sure you don't fall as a person? Mm -hmm. You can't, you have to. Like, I can never fall on myself. Still as a mother. As a mom, all that. But I really just can't fall on myself. I gotta, I gotta be good with all this mama. I'm like, what you gonna look up to? Okay. I don't know. I guess you also meant like, like fulfilling your role as a mother. Like something can happen to you. You don't get to be a friend, I got the bed. Ain't nothing ever gonna happen to me because I'm gonna make sure, like, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of anything, I'm gonna make sure I get back home to my daughter. My daughter's gonna be good for me. That's a problem. <laughs> and I keep my problems. <laughs> Alright, so, for, a, for everybody, for anybody that wants to get in contact with you or, or get, you know, in tune with what you're doing, mm -hmm. How would they go about doing that? What's your handle? You can follow me on Instagram, Queen Savvy with the music. I'm on YouTube too. I got a music video, I'll get it all. I just perform that. You heard that song, right? What's that? That's my joint, man. That's my stick. Oh, I got some for Black Power. I have something for you. Like, it's crazy. I think I should perform for you. What do you need that? Like, I'm serious. You know what I'm talking about? When they see us, they don't care about how they treat us. We just get money out your feelings. I'm gonna take a photo. You said you was before, now you searching me some more now Getting out the video, why you guys screaming, get down The system is a fella that's coming together, shut that shit down Even when I hands up, still get a man down Cameras hitting everywhere, moves on the tape now My life in a movie, I'm just too used to my fans now I ain't scared of now, but got judgment I can't send out No, when they see us, they don't care about how they treat us Like that <laughs> I, uh, I didn't even record that, I recorded that actually Then I made it take my song Alright, so before, before we get out of here, um, for your fans out there, like, if they was to meet you and be in your face right now, like, what do you want to do? Because they only know the music and they only see you on IG or, or from a distance. Like, for those that really are tuned to your music, stuff all related to it, like, what, if they in your face, like, what do you want to tell them? Stay in tune. It's 
you always live on the side. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Always be real. Devote yourself. Fuck with people learn some shit. I've been through some shit. I can tell you something. Don't be like You can relate. Yeah. <laughs> and again, I don't know if you're a bum ass bitch, we can't play. You know? You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> tell them. Tell the young girls, like, what we stand for. Women power. Bitches, we are not equal. You cannot eat at my table, little bitch. We are not equal. I better wait to blow the fuck up. Period. <laughs> That's it. Wait. It's not a rush. Hey y'all, I'm Kiara. I'm Jada. And we are Radar. It's a Radar. It's Radar. It's Radar. It's Radar. Um, check us out. We actually just dropped a single on all platforms called Ball Singing. Just hit 3,000 with me. Um, where you guys from? Uh, we're from Jersey. I'm from Hackensack. I'm from Hackensack. And um, as far as musically, are y'all rappers, singers? Like, how do you, what category are you, how do you categorize yourself? I would say like rapper, singer, rapper, singer, singer, rapper. Depends on what song it is. Definitely, I would say my strong point is singing, but I'm surprised. I could talk a little bar. Like, I can talk a little bar. Yeah. But my bitch said, I mean, I'm her fan. I'm really a rapper, but I'll be trying to sing. You are a rapper. He is a rapper. <laughs> How long have you guys been a group? Um, a little like over a year. August will be a year. August will be a year. So a little less than a year. Yeah. But we've been for about a year. Yeah, for about a year. And what? Artist wise, who's your influence and who's your influence? I 
it is the, the style of the music. I think I enjoy how, how the video might look or how yeah. it's going to look. It's like, I, yeah, I think maybe I love to do the music, but I think to, to shoot the video, yeah, that's what I think I enjoy it. You got a visual for Asian. Things about you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't think about something, you know what I'm saying, without, like, here's something without thinking it, you know what I'm saying? I feel like music gotta tell a story, so. I have one last question for you, guys. And it's dope that we have an interview now. Where do you see yourself in five years? Honestly, I Big think, thing, probably. Yeah. Like, Rated R, Miss Rated R is like our label, you know what I'm saying? Like. I need specific. She's her own oh, work. So when you gonna see her? I think honestly, specifically, I feel like we're gonna be signing mm -hmm. because we're gonna have a strong female label. A lot of art, like a lot of female artists, you get what I'm saying? That everybody trying to come up. You get what I'm saying? Like, but are really trying like to compete. You get what I'm saying? Like we 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 have a we have a book, like there's a, a, a guy label to our girl, you get what I'm saying? And they are tough, so we, we always, we have nothing but the ceiling, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I agree with that. I feel like in five years, it's gonna be like crazy in five years, like yeah. show I'm trying to show all the time. We here, we there. Yeah, like, but I'm, I'm trying to I'm gonna start really with Right, right, right. I think it's gonna be crazy in five years. That's, that's what I can say. Five years from now, we gonna she be gonna be game. fucking crazy. It's gonna be a fucking suit. We're gonna be turning up. We're gonna be here, we're gonna be there, we're gonna be yes. People are gonna notice us. They, I mean, they already know us. They're gonna I'm gonna push the hell out of y'all. And, and I'm gonna show this to y'all in five, five years. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off the road. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be there. Can't wait to come back. Yes, great show. <laughs>